So before I get started, I do have to say that I actually do not watch Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. I haven't watched for the past few episodes. I lost interest in the characters, um, but I usually just catch the recaps from my favorite vloggers on YouTube. And I have been keeping up with the Kirk Frost versus Jasmine Washington paternity case via the Gwinnett County court records because those are the only two characters I'm really interested in. Now that the Love & Hip Hop ATL reunion has filmed, so-called spoilers of Kirk Frost's paternity test results have been released. And I just want to clear up what's true and what's false based on what those Gwinnett County court records reveal. If you don't want to know if you just rather watch the reunion and see what happens, go ahead and click off this video. So the truth was, yes, there was a paternity test revealed at the reunion. But what's false is that the paternity test result proved Kirk Frost to be the father. The paternity test was actually for Logan, another potential father to Jasmine Washington's son. He was proven not to be the father. And this has led to further speculation that Kirk Frost is the father, but it doesn't prove that he's the daddy. Now there was an eyewitness account published on theshaderoom.com and it says that if you remember, Logan confronted Rashida in her clothing store and told her that he could be the father and submitted to a DNA test. According to one of the Shade Room roommates, who is the eyewitness, the results were read by Nina Parker, the host, and they came back proving that he was not the father. These are the receipts. The Gwinnett County court records show that the plaintiff, who is Jasmine, has been trying to have the defendant, who is Kirk, served for months, actually since January, and the process servers have not been able to locate Kirk. So this case is actually still an open case, and you can see that there's a note that says, issued to Kirk Linnell Frost, private process server summons, not established, not to be found, Multiple attempts unable to serve defendant. So Kirk has not been served, and from what these court records show, he has not taken a paternity test as of yet. So the reunion for this season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta may not have answered the question that we all want to know, is Kirk the father? But to me, his actions over the past few months have said it all. He was there when the baby was born, but disappeared when Jasmine brought the Love and Hip Hop cameras around. So that tells me all I need to know.